your time is precious. And when you have critical timetables to meet, staying on time is a challenge. We're Q-strained, and we can help. To help you safeguard your schedules, we've created the industry's fastest, safest, and easiest to use wheelchair restraint system, the Q-strained QRT Max. Drivers appreciate the efficiency and convenience they get using the QRT Max. It's fully automatic, self-tensioning, and self-locking. Safely securing a wheelchair passenger only takes a few seconds and can usually be done with just one hand. Your company has had the foresight and concern to purchase and install the finest wheelchair securement system available, the Q-Strength QRT Max. These are not tests of the vehicles or of the chairs. These are tests of the Q-Strength QRT Max, a specialized restraint system that protects your passengers that need to stay in their wheelchairs while riding in your vehicles. The Q-Strength QRT Max is tough, and to prove it, it is precisely tested. No other company does the comprehensive testing that we do, including crash testing, with verified results that include worldwide certifications. To make using the QRT Max simple, all retractors are interchangeable, so there's no sorting. They can be used front or rear, right or left. Plus, they function with any mounting system or vehicle. The retractors, tensioning, and locking mechanisms are safeguarded within a metal-clad housing. Q-Strength's sole business focus is on making products that simultaneously provide maximum protection and comfort for passengers, maximum efficiency for operators and drivers, and ease of installation for vehicle manufacturers. Our securement systems have been developed and improved over the years with extensive input from passengers, fleet operators, vehicle manufacturers, and drivers. They far exceed all government regulations, standards, and guidelines that in many cases we help to establish. As a driver, it is your responsibility to use the system properly for your safety and the safety of your passengers. Remember that a wheelchair that is not properly secured endangers everybody in the vehicle. Your vehicle will have been equipped with appropriate anchor points for each location, as well as corresponding wall-mounted anchors for shoulder belts. Depending on the type of vehicle you drive and the number of wheelchair passengers it is configured for, it will be fitted with one or more of the following types of anchors. The L anchor is available in several configurations, as track, a covered floor pocket, or oval floor pocket. The PLI fitting simply lines up with the anchor openings, then press down and slide until it clicks. Check the positive locking indicators to ensure it is properly seated. The red indicators clearly verify when the fitting is locked in the track. To release, lift the T-handle and slide. The A anchor is available in track or floor plate. To insert the A track fitting, press the release lever and slide it into the track. Shake the fitting to ensure it is locked. To remove, press the release lever and slide and lift the fitting. Always face the release lever away from the wheelchair. The slide and click anchoring system simply slides on from any direction and snaps into place. For extra ease of use, the slide and click rotates through 360 degrees. To remove, simply lift the T-handle and slide off. In all cases, pull on the fitting to make sure it is securely locked. Please pause the tape. It is essential that you inventory and inspect your Q-Strain system components as an integral part of your pre-trip inspection. For each wheelchair position in your vehicle, you should have four retractors with the correct anchor fittings, one lap belt, one shoulder belt with the correct fitting, for some wheelchairs, we recommend the use of the Q-Strain webbing loops. A belt cutter should be available in the driver's area for emergency use. Check to see that the webbing is not cut, frayed, damaged, or contaminated by polishes, oils, or chemicals. Check that the metal parts are not worn, broken, or cracked. 
Any parts that are in question should be reported to your supervisor and replaced before departure. All the components for each position should be packed and stored in a separate pouch. This helps keep the components clean, prevents tangling, and speeds up the process of boarding and securing passengers. Let's take a closer look at the various QRT Max belts before we address the actual boarding and securing procedure. The QRT Max retractors secure the wheelchair to the vehicle. Each securement belt is around a spool that is automatic self-tensioning and automatic self-locking to ensure the wheelchair is always secure. The automatic feature continues to take up any slack in the belt and locks the belt with appropriate tension. There is a pin connector on each retractor. This is for attaching the lap belts. The securement belts run from the anchored retractor to a solid frame member of the wheelchair where they are attached by their J-hooks. Some wheelchairs have defined anchorage points. When these are present, they should be used. The QRT Max has a protective chrome cover. It is automatic self-tensioning, self-locking, and does not require hand tightening. The red release lever is only used when removing the QRT Max. The QRT Max can be installed with one hand. Once the chair is secured to the vehicle, the lap and shoulder belts work like a traditional seat belt system to keep the passenger safely in the chair should the vehicle stop suddenly or experience an impact. Other lap shoulder belt combinations will follow. The webbing of the lap belts is stiffened to assist in threading them around the passenger and through the chair. One end of each belt attaches to pin connectors on the rear retractors. The other ends form a traditional seat belt buckle. The buckle with a release button should always be on the aisle side of the passenger. The shoulder belt attaches to the wall anchor, passes over the passenger's shoulder, and then clips onto the pin connector next to the lap belt buckle. The webbing loop comes into play in situations where the design of the wheelchair does not permit the direct attachment of a J-hook. In such cases, a webbing loop can be threaded around a rigid frame member to provide an attachment point for the hook. The loop is strongest when used in this manner. The loop is tested and meets SAE J2249. Please pause the tape. Let's secure a wheelchair. There are three steps to safely secure the wheelchair and passenger. Attaching the retractors to the floor anchorages. Securing the chair with the securement belts and J-hooks. Securing the passenger safely in the wheelchair with the lap and shoulder belts. There are many models of wheelchairs, hundreds. We will be using several different types throughout this demonstration. Board the wheelchair and passenger onto your vehicle. Position the wheelchair so it is facing straight forward and it is centered squarely within the rectangle formed by the four anchor points. Lock the wheel locks and if motorized, turn the power off. While you're doing this, inspect the wheelchair to locate appropriate attachment points for the J-hooks. They should be on rigid frame members. Here are some examples. Notice that these are welded frame members. Ideally, the attachment points should be close to the level of the seat. Attach the four Q-Strength QRT Max retractors to the anchor points on the vehicle using the installed anchor system. This can be done in any order that's convenient. Note, on some applications, the retractors may be permanently attached to seat frames, barriers, or other devices. For lateral stability, the front securements should be attached outside or wider than the width of the chair and will angle slightly outward, up to 25 degrees, to reach the chair frame. The vertical angle of the front tie-downs from the J-hook to the anchor should be between 40 and 60 degrees. The rear retractors are positioned inside or narrower than the wheels on most chairs. For maximum safety, the rear straps should make a 30 to 45 degree angle with the floor. 
as each retractor is installed, ensure that it is securely attached to the anchor point by checking the positive locking indicators. Pull the belt out from each retractor and place its J-hook on the selected attachment point of the chair. The QRT Max will automatically self-tighten and self-lock. It is normal for 3 to 4 inches of the belt to extend from the retractor when locked in its shortest position. For three-wheel scooters, use a third rear securement belt or retractor in the center as shown. For some wheelchairs, we recommend the use of four rear securements. If there is any difficulty in attaching any J-hook to an appropriate rigid frame member, a Q-Straint webbing loop may be used to facilitate the attachment. Once all the securements are attached, unlock the wheel locks and try to move the chair. The automatic self-tensioning, self-locking QRT Max will take up any remaining slack throughout the trip. Then re-lock the wheel locks. Remember that securement belts should never pass through the wheels and that each belt should follow a straight path from its retractor to its J-hook without bending around any part of the chair, such as wheels, footrest, etc. At this point, you've achieved your first two objectives. The retractors are secured to the vehicle and the wheelchair is secured with the securement belts. Please pause the tape. Now, let's secure the passenger. This process may involve some necessary minor physical contact with the passenger, so always tell the passenger what you're doing and ask for any assistance that the passenger is able to or wants to provide. Begin by attaching the appropriate end of the shoulder belt to the anchor point on the wall of the vehicle if it is not permanently attached. This point should be slightly higher than and behind the passenger's shoulder. The lap belt can be installed as one piece attached at the buckle or as two pieces. The lap belt has been stiffened to facilitate threading it around the passenger and between parts of the chair, such as the seat and the arms or the arms and the back. The lap belt should never go over or around the armrests, side panels, or any other object that would hold the belt away from the body of the passenger. Install the lap belt so the buckle and its release button are on the aisle side of the passenger. After threading the two ends of the lap belt around the passenger and through the openings in the chair, attach them to the pin connectors on the rear retractors. If installed as two pieces, buckle the belt around the passenger. The belt should bear upon the bony structure of the body and should be worn low across the front of the pelvis. Remove the slack from the belt. Now, bring the shoulder belt over the center of the passenger's shoulder and attach it to the pin on the lap belt buckle. This junction of the lap shoulder belts should be located near the passenger's hip. Tighten the shoulder belt, leaving a gap about two fingers wide between the passenger's chest and the belt, consistent with user comfort. Note that some adjustment may be necessary to ensure that the shoulder belt does not cut across the passenger's neck. This is especially important if the passenger has had a tracheotomy. In some cases, you may be able to solve the problem by adjusting the height of the shoulder belt. At this point, we have achieved our third goal to secure the passenger, and we are ready for our trip. Please pause the tape. Deboarding your passenger. At our destination, we have to reverse the procedure. First, ensure that the chair's wheel locks are locked. As you remove the various belts, take great care to ensure that loose ends don't strike other passengers. Release and remove the shoulder belt, carefully setting it aside. Press the release button to open the lap belt and remove its two sections. Now remove the four securement belts. Press the red lever on each retractor with either your hand or foot to release the tension, 
Then disconnect the J-hook and fully retract the webbing. If any retractors are creating an impediment in the path of the chair or a tripping hazard for you, remove them from their anchors before unlocking the wheel locks and moving the chair to the exit. After unloading the passenger, inspect all securement components and return them to their respective pouches. Please pause the tape. The preferred lap shoulder belt combination is the single retractor with the height adjuster. Thread the female half of the lap belt through the space between the armrest and backrest or between the openings in the seat back and attach it to the pin connector on the rear retractor. Thread the other belt through the space between the armrest and backrest or between the openings in the seat and attach it to the other pin connector on the rear retractor closest to the wall. Attach the female buckle to the male buckle and adjust the belt until the buckle is positioned on the hip of the passenger. Adjust the height adjuster so the shoulder belt is centered on and slightly higher than the passenger's shoulder. To remove, press the red button on the buckle. Another variation is the combination lap shoulder belt with two retractors and a height adjuster. Thread the belt through the space between the armrest and backrest or between the openings in the seat and attach to the rear retractor closest to the wall. Thread the female portion of the lap belt retractor up through the space between the armrest and backrest or between the openings in the seat. Attach the female buckle to the male buckle and adjust the belt until the buckle is positioned on the hip of the passenger. Adjust the shoulder belt height adjuster to the proper height. Another variation of occupant securement incorporates three retractors, one for the shoulder belt and two for the lap belt. Thread the female portion of the lap belt up through the space between the armrest and backrest or between the openings in the seat. Thread the male portion of the lap belt up through the space between the armrest and backrest or between the openings in the seat and attach it to the female buckle. Adjust the belt buckle to the hip of the passenger closest to the aisle of the vehicle. Attach the shoulder belt to the pin connector on the lap belt. All belts will self-tension. To make your Q-Strength system easier to use and more adaptable to various special situations, Q-Strength offers several optional components. The remote cable release for the QRT Max allows the driver to release the tension on QRT Max retractors that are in hard to reach places, such as near the rear wall or under seats of the vehicle. We recommend that at least one Q-Strength belt cutter is available in the driver's compartment for emergency use. If you have any questions after reviewing this video, talk to your supervisor or contact us. We're always ready to assist. Providing for the safety of people in wheelchairs who are passengers in motor vehicles is a vital part of your job and an essential part of the service your company provides. At Qstraint, it's the core of our business. We're in this together. We're a team.